Hello my friend, Evan Scoresby here with HowToWithEvan.com and in this video I'm going to show you how to change your domain name's DNS settings to work with your ClickFunnels account. And this can be used using any domain from any register service, but I'm going to be showing you how to do this through one-on-one -on -one IONS domain names. So a few things that we're going to be discussing before we get into that though is that we're going to talk a little bit about the difference between a custom domain name and a default domain name that comes with ClickFunnels. Uh, then we'll go into changing the DNS settings and then we'll actually show you how to add that domain name to your ClickFunnels account and then we'll have a little action assignment here at the end because we know that if you don't take action nothing is ever going to happen, right? So first and foremost let's talk a little bit about uh, custom domain names and default domain names. Now, when you sign up for a ClickFunnels account, they give you a default domain name. It's called a subdomain that is directly related to your sign-up information. Now, this default subdomain or domain name looks something like this. It will have your information on the prefix where these X's are, followed by a .clickfunnels.com. Now this subdomain is automatically associated and applied to every funnel that you create or download into your ClickFunnels account. And it can be customized and changed through your account settings within ClickFunnels. Okay? Now a custom domain name is a website address that you acquire from a third party service like with GoDaddy, Namecheap, or one and one INS. Now your custom domain name can be used instead of your default domain name so that clickfunnels.com isn't in your website address. And so you might be asking, well, which one is better, right? Well, each type of domain name can be used for different purposes. But in my opinion, using a custom domain name is better for the following reasons. Number one, it's more professional and legitimate, right? So when somebody visits your website and they see your custom domain name instead of a dot click funnels domain name, again, it's just more professional. Um, it uh, just makes your website look be and appear more legitimate. And plus it doesn't look spammy, you know, going along the lines of that because some of those click funnels uh, domains can have a lot of information and junk at the end of it as well. So it doesn't look spammy. And then also, you don't have to worry about your website being blacklisted, right? There's a lot of people who are members of ClickFunnels, and there's a lot of people who just use the default subdomain .clickfunnels.com, and they use that in all of their marketing. And unfortunately, a lot of people don't necessarily know what they're doing. And so they, they promote their website links and their domain names all over the internet and sometimes abuse it. And when that happens, certain websites out there like Facebook or Google Ads or, you know, some other, you know, popular websites out there may ban the ClickFunnels domain. And if you're using the default domain that has that ClickFunnels domain in it, your website may not work on some other websites out there where it's been blacklisted. So using your custom domain you don't really have to worry about that because you're the only one that's using it and not thousands and thousands of other people at the same time. And so another reason is that it's great for business, product, or service branding. So if you have a, a domain name that's uh, for your business or you're promoting some type of product or service, it can be used to further promote your brand and build that brand. Plus another side benefit of having your own custom domain name is that you can use it to get a custom professional email address that you can use in your business as well. So overall, I think it's just a much better option to use a custom domain. Now let's go in and uh, talk about a little bit about the DNS settings and how to change those so you can get it working with ClickFunnels. Well, a domain name's DNS settings are basically a set of instructions on how it operates on the internet. Now these settings by default are set to the registrar's information. So if you bought it from GoDaddy or Namecheap or one and one INS, 
Um, that set of instructions is pertinent and related to that information only. And if you want that third-party domain to work with ClickFunnels, you need to change the instructions. And you do that by changing or adding a CNAME record for www that points to target.clickfunnels.com. Now it's important that this needs to be done first, prior before adding it to your ClickFunnels account. Okay, so let's actually go in. I'm actually going to show you how to do this through uh, using IONIS domain names. And again, changing and doing this, this process um, can be used for any service where you have your domain name. If you have it from GoDaddy, Namecheap, Bluehost, HostGator, you know, whatever, <laughs> there should be an option similar to this in those accounts. But if you have a IONIS, one-on-one -on -one IONIS domain name, you should be able to follow along and be able to apply this fairly, fairly easily. So I'm just going to come over here to the internet and I'm going to go to IONIS.com and I am going to sign into my account. All right, so I'm just going to click up here, put in my customer ID and password and sign in. And when you sign in for the first time, um, it'll come to your products of information. And I'm just going to select this one where it says domains and SSL. And this will pull up any domain name that I have purchased and I'm using with this company. So you can see I have a few of them here. And the one I'm going to demonstrate this is with this one called linkidity.com. Okay, <laughs> so it has the domain name listed here. It has the status. It says that it's not currently in use. It tells me when it expires and it has these actions over here that I can do. So under actions, I'm going to select the gear icon for this domain and select DNS from the dropdown. Okay, so I'll select DNS from the dropdown. And this pulls up all of the records that are currently on here okay so what I need to do again pointing from our service over here we need to change or add a CNAME record www that points to target.clickfunnels.com okay so here's the CNAME rec here's the first column shows what type of record it is and currently there's two different CNAME records um, but there's no, the host name is for the www. So for these CNAME records, there isn't a www, right? So I can't edit or change an existing record. I actually need to add in a new record in this case. Now, if you're using a different domain service like GoDaddy or Namecheap, you might already have a CNAME record in here that has the www. If you do, you just need to edit that domain, that record um, with um, this information, okay? But in this case, with IONIS, we need to add in that record. So right up here at the top, I'm going to choose this button that says Add Record. And it gives me all the different types of records that I can add. And I'm just going to choose the one for CNAME, okay? I'm just going to click on that. And right here it tells me the CNAME type and the host name. It appears that it already has the www in there, but it actually doesn't. You need to click in the box and actually type it out. Okay. <laughs> if you don't actually click in there and type it out, that won't work and you'll get an error message. Okay. And then right here it says points to. So we need to, this isn't in there either. This is just an example that says other domain. This is where we type in target.clickfunnels.com, okay? And then we leave everything else the same and we just click on save. All right, so it's just confirming that since we're adding this CNAME record, it's going to be removing and disabling some of these other records automatically. That's fine, that's just exactly how it's supposed to do. So we're just going to confirm that down here and hit save. Okay, so now it's been saved. It says the CNAME record has been successfully created. So if I come down here, 
I now see the CDAME record for www that points to target.clickfunnels.com. Okay. Now there's one more thing here that we need to do, and we need to adjust the forwarding for this domain. Okay. So if I go back up here to the top and I go back to my details section right here, right here it has a destination option. And I need to adjust the destination so that it will forward back to itself. And I'll, I'll explain this here in just a second. So I'm just going to click on use your domain. And then I'm going to choose this option that says forward domain. Okay, we want to forward the domain. And it tells me that I need to put in a redirect destination where we're not going to be redirecting it to a different domain. We're just going to set it up and redirect it to the same domain name that we have here. And the reason that we want to do that, and we're going to put this in HTTP www.linkidty.com. So whatever your domain name is, we're just going to put it in right here for the redirect destination. Because what that does is it's going to, our domain, it will allow us to have our domain name work with or without the www prefix. Okay, so when people are searching on the internet or if you're going to a website, some people put in the www dot, then the domain name. Some people just put in the domain name. So we're doing this because regardless of how somebody puts in that information, they'll still be able to go where it's pointed. Okay. So I'm just going to put that in here and I'm just going to click on save once that's in there. And then it will, uh, domain forwarding has been set up and it just says, please note that this can take a few moments. Okay. So I am just going to go back to my details of my domain. So I'm just going to come back up here and click the arrow to go back. So it shows my linkidity.com, the setup forwarding, it's working and I've changed the DNS settings. Okay, so that's all I need to do in my account when updating these DNS settings, okay? So now we need to add this domain name to your ClickFunnels account. So once these settings have been changed or edited or added, you can add this click to it to your ClickFunnels account through your account settings. So number one, we're going to add the domain to ClickFunnels. We're going to verify it and we're going to set up an SSL through ClickFunnels. Uh, that's important. Um, we do not need to set up an SSL through one and one or INS or your domain. For one, it's going to cost you extra money if you do it that way. Um, ClickFunnels can do it for free. Okay, so let's actually show you how to do this. Okay, so I'm going to go back to the internet. This time I'm going to go to my ClickFunnels account. And when you're in ClickFunnels, if you come up here to the top right uh, to your avatar, you want to go to your account settings. Okay. And then under account settings, you'll want to come down here on the left that says domains. Okay. So I'm going to click on domains down here on the left. And if you have any domain names already added in there, um, they'll be listed here. But if you don't have any, it'll prompt you to add in a new domain. So I'm going to choose this option right here that says add new domain. Now, if you're adding a domain name for the first time, you know, it might just be defaulted to be at this page. On this page, uh, you can actually register a domain name with ClickFunnels. I do not recommend that you do that because you can then only use it with ClickFunnels. So doing business online, things change all the time. And you, you know, a year from now, you might have a different purpose for your domain name. And if you bought it through ClickFunnels, you might not be able to use it anywhere else. So that's why we recommend using a third party domain by buying it from GoDaddy or Namecheap or some other place. Uh, and then once you do that, you're gonna choose this option that says add your own domain, okay? So I'm gonna use an existing domain. I'm gonna click on that and it's telling me that I need to type in the domain name. So my name, domain name is linkidity.com. Let me make sure I spelled that right. <laughs> so I got link IDTY, IDTY. Okay, so I just type it in, linkidity.com, and then I click on add domain. 
Now here, um, it's telling us that we, you know, in order for your custom domain name to work, you need to add or change the CNAME record that points to target.clickfunnels.com. We've already done this, right? So we do not need to do it again. And all we need to do at this point is just click on this button that says, I've done this step. Okay, so I'll click on that, it checks it, and if all turns out well, then if you followed this video <laughs> like we did, it'll say, good job, you did it, Linkedity is connected and ready for use, okay? So I'm gonna just come down here and uh, click this option that says, just show me my domains. So here, I can now see that Linkedity has been added to my domains and it does say verified, okay? But if you notice, my other domains say secured. So how do I get mine secured like these other ones? Very easy. So we're just gonna go right here to, we're gonna click on the domain name in question and it's gonna open up a whole bunch of uh, options that we can choose from. We're going to choose this option where it says SSL and we're going to expand that over here on the right and we're simply going to click on this yellow button that says add SSL and it will automatically save it and update it and up here in the top right corner it will say success we have initiated the SSL setup process for linkedity.com it can take up to 10 to 15 minutes before your SSL setup is complete and we will notify you once it's done they actually don't notify you. I've never got a notification from ClickFunnels letting me know that it's been done. So just come back in your account in uh, 10 to 15 minutes and you'll just have to come back to this page, um, click on the expand, the SSL, and click on this button that says check now. Uh, once you check that and if it's been set up, it will verify it and then when you go back here to your domains, it will say that it's been secured. So right now it's changed from verified to securing, okay? So I'll come back in here in about 10 to 15 minutes and just verify it and it will change from securing to secured, okay? All right, so going forward, again, taking action. <laughs> if you don't take action, nothing is ever going to change, right? And if you don't actually have a domain name and you need one, uh, go to ionus.howtowithevan.com and you can get yours today. And I recommend and use Ionus because one, they provide a great service. If, you're, if it's your first domain name, it's only 99 cents uh, to get a domain name with Ionus for a year. And then it comes with free private registration Private registration protects your personal information from being made available on the internet. And so, you know, people don't have your name or phone number or address or email address. <laughs> so it just protects all that information. And that comes free with Ionus. If you were to buy private registration with GoDaddy or Namecheap, it would cost you, you know, eight to $15 a year for that service. And then also with Ionus, they provide and give you a free custom email address. So you don't have to set up an, an email address with you know, somebody else. Um, if you were to get a custom email address with GoDaddy, it would cost you up to $5 a month, right? And so it's just a cool service, 99 cents, gets you all that, uh, highly recommend it. Uh, Ionus.howtowithevan.com, that's if you need one, okay? Um, so another, that next action assignment here is just going into your domain name and adding the DNS settings for your domain or editing the CNAME record for www2.2 targetclickfunnelscom and then adjust the forwarding destination to itself so your domain will work with or without the www that we also showed you and then add the domain name to ClickFunnels, verify it, and add the SSL. So I hope you found this helpful, informational, and that uh, will guide you in setting up your domain name with ClickFunnels. I'd love to hear from you, so feel free to leave a comment. Uh, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already, and we'll see you on the next video. Bye for now.